Hello lovelies, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm coming on to show you guys a $100 collaboration uh, review that I am doing with Timu. Um, this is my second uh, collaboration video with them. So any other Timu video haul that you've seen from me is stuff that I have personally uh, bought and I actually have a few packages coming also that I've bought stuff. So um, I am in the throes of Timu and <laughs> I have been officially banned from buying more stuff from there for now. But I wanted to show you guys what I picked out with the $100 that they gave me um, with their picks and show you guys um, all the great stuff I got. And I will be doing videos testing products out as well, so stay tuned for those. Um, and also I will have coupon information and uh, affiliate information for you guys in the description box. So if you would like to become an affiliate, make money off of having other people sign up, that will be in the description box. And then of course, 30% off for new users will also be in the description box. So let's dig right in and I wanna start with the first bag. So they sent me these huge Teemu bags and they put my products in these, which are so cool. Um, I love these. Uh, they are gonna be super useful in my craft room. I will probably use them to hold fabric. So um, these are really cool. I like that it has the logo on the front. So I wanted to show you guys that because that's something that's really neat. And then I'm gonna show you guys the first bag. So this is what was in the first bag. So I have die cuts and I will be testing these out like I did the last set to show you guys how they cut. So that will be a future video. So this is a set of grass with some like little um, wisps. I can't remember what they're called. Um, the one, the things that look like corn dogs, I guess. They look like corn dogs and then you touch them and they like into the wind. Like um, they just look like a ball of fluff when you like touch them. If y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, um, this one's really nice. This one's like a set of like, it looks like, um, parchment paper. So just like in different layers. Um, my friend actually made me some of these and I have a set I can show you. Let me see if I can find it in my, in my little boxes. Give me just a second. I have little... I have a set of things where I just put my little scraps and little extra pieces so I can um, like dig through them and use stuff. So give me a second. Let me see if I can find them. Here we go. Here they are. So she inked them out for me, but as you can see, this is a this is a different, a slightly different set. But I think this is what they're going to end up looking like. So of course I will stamp them, or not stamp them. I'm sorry. I will cut them out and show you guys. But I think it's going to be similar to this kind of parchment. And she did ink these, so that's why they have that look. Let me put these back. So um, that should be fun. I also got this window die. I have a small one and I really like it, but I kind of like this bigger one. I think it would be really cute to put in as backgrounds for different stuff. So that's what this one looks like. So I think that would be really cool because the windows actually, I believe they cut and open up. So that one, and it's a good size. I mean, my hand's pretty big. So, um... Let me show you guys with something um, that you guys, okay, so like a jumbo glue stick, okay? We all know about the size of these. So my hands are pretty big. I have very long fingers, so that should give you an idea of how big this window die is. So, oh, I have, I have a measuring mat right here. Um, I can tell you exactly. It's two and three fourths by four and a half so four and a half tall and two and three fourths wide so that's a pretty decent size window let's see how big the grass one is so this one is four by 
I would say two and three fourths at the tallest length. So, and then these guys at the tallest, they are four by two and three fourths. So that's not too bad. These are very good, decent size then. Okay, so the next thing is these, they're little lavender. It's just little lavender um, die cuts. So to make little lavender pieces. I got this to do the alphabet because I like the stitch design in it and these are really nice um, and I've been making baby albums so this will be nice to use for the baby albums. Um, I also got this nesting set which I think is really pretty, the oval nesting set. The biggest one on this one is five and a half by four and one fourth. So that's a pretty decent size. Um, I also got these adorable little heart paper clips. They're just little and dainty and cute. So I'm going to start a little uh, box of just decorative paper clips. So those are adorable. Um, I also got these three sets of fences. There's a tag in the way, so let me take it out of the package. I think these are cute. Um, and I was excited that they came in before I had to do my Easter Memory Dex card because I totally want to use it for my Easter Memory Dex card. Look at, look at how cute these little fences are. This is too adorable. I love that. So these will be fun to, to do as well. And it looks like these are three and three fourths long by like half an inch on average. So that's pretty nice. Just for a sizing on that one, because I know sometimes having border stamps, it's good to have, um, like, know how big they are. So, this is a tag stamp, and then it has, like, a little piece of parchment that goes with it. So, or stamp, I keep saying stamp. Die cut, excuse me. So, this is about two by three and a half. So, that's a nice size uh, tag. Uh, this one is just a parchment with an ink and a quill pen. Uh, that's really cool for like vintagey stuff. I will actually probably use that in my vintage pocket letter. Uh, this is another detailed owl. Let me take it out of the bag so I can show you guys what it looks like. Y'all, this is probably going to be a little long because I did get, like I said, $100 to spend on stuff. So there's quite a bit in this, but I promise it's all good stuff. So this is going to be a fun owl to put together. And it looks like she's going to be a lot easier to put together than the last one. The last one, I was a little confused. I had to go back and look. <laughs> so, oh, I got this one. This one is the little brackets to make the tickets and stamps. So little different types of stamps and tickets. So super excited to try that one out. Uh, this one's adorable. I'm so happy about this one for Easter. I'm going to use it to make a little Easter thing for my sister and my mom. It's a Easter um, bunny uh, bag with a little bow. So you can like set up a little Easter bunny. It's so cute. I'm definitely going to be using that here soon. Uh, this one is a snow globe die uh, and then it has like the bracket to go in front right here. Um, it was showing you can turn it into a shaker if you have like a circle uh, piece, plastic piece, but I think it's cute just like this. So I thought it was really adorable. Nice little snow globe. Uh, this one's different types of banners because this is really useful to have I think when you're trying to just make little sentiments and things. Um, I also got this set, which is a set of frames. Let me show you. So, this is a set of frames in two different sizes. So, uh, you have like the outer frame and then you can double layer it or you just use the middle of the frames if you want. So, definitely awesome. That's a really cool set in my opinion. And then, um, this is a banner set so this one runs about five and one fourth long by one I want to say one and five eighths wide that's the biggest one 
So pretty, pretty decent size banners. So that will be really nice for layering and, and doing sentiments and that kind of thing. And then uh, this ribbon came in. Um, I like this. It's packaging ribbon specifically. So it's like that, that curling ribbon that's, um, you know, it's a little plastic. It's plastic so you can curl it with scissors. So, but I like this peach color and you get a whole lot. So that's really nice. I like that. And then I got these two stencils, which I will also be testing out. So this one's roses. And then this one is just like a filigree pattern. So these will be fun to test out. I'll probably test these out in a separate video than the die cuts, just cause with all the die cuts, it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> so look forward to that. I might actually make some backgrounds for some uh, junk journals or cards or <laughs> swaps. So we'll have to check that out. So this is the next bag. I have four bags total, so I'll try to be quick about getting everything out. So you guys don't have to wait too long. So um, this one's pretty straightforward. There's a couple different things. So I got these little card sets that are blank. They're just little blank cards. But they're really nice because they're like almost plasticky and they're sturdy. So I thought these would be really nice to use to make tags. Or like um, if I'm making like a small bead dangles or like anything small, I can use these to display it. Or like little bows, that kind of stuff, just to make my packaging a little better. So these are a little bigger than two inches by three and a half. So... These would be a good size for small tags, for sure. I got them in two, two sets of white and two sets of brown. And the browns are in another bag. So I will show those to you guys in a minute. Um, this is the infamous nano tape that everybody's been making nano stuff with. Um, I picked this specifically because of where I wanted to try making some of the nano tape stuff. So as you can see, it's the nano tape, and I got it in this size. And then I got a cheaper version. So I believe this one was like 18 cents, and then this one was like 88. So it looks like they're the same width, though. Are they? Yeah. So it's just one's got less than the other, which is fine. So uh, me and Aurora will be doing videos where we're testing out like nano bubble, nano tape bubbles, and some of the cubes with some of uh, her slime decorations. Um, I don't think we have any actual slime to put in them. So if we do, I'll have to look and see. Um, we can also try Play-Doh. So look forward to that. Uh, we will be testing that out because she wants to and I think it's fun. Um, I also picked up these. I do have some of these, but I used all of the black on this for my sister's Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, Junk Journal I made her, which I wish I had done a flip through, but I didn't. So I got some more because I like these. I think they're cute, and I like having decorative paper clips. There's quite a few in this one. I think it's a 30-pack. It's either a 20 or 30-pack, so that was nice. Um... And then I got some thank you stickers. These were like a dollar nine or like eighty eight cents for five hundred. So um, these were pretty good deal. So if you small business owners use a lot of stickers to kind of like do up your stuff. Um, there's like some different varieties of these. So I'll show you. So this one comes with different styles. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like having these for when people like send me racks or like I can send them with like the sticker cards or stuff for swaps. Or um, if I decide to start selling things, they'll be nice for packaging. So either way, um, I have hauled these before, but I'll show you guys them again because I really like them. Um, in fact, one is sitting right here with my paper scraps in it right now. So, <laughs> they are so useful for so many things. Um, I use them to store ephemera, 
stickers. Um, I've got paper scraps in one. Um, I've got like tags in one. I've got my cat earring backs in one. So they're just really nice. Um, so this one's the cactus theme one. I picked up the cactus one because um, I wanted to use them for like summer swaps. So that is what was in that bag. So I was showing, I was showing you guys the smaller bags first because the other bags have quite a bit in them. So this is the next bag. So this one, okay, this one doesn't have too, too much in it. Um, it's just got a few things. So this one's really cool. So I've got this piggy uh, pin holder that I got Aurora. It came with stickers for her to decorate it. She wants to make a video of her showing her decorating it and putting her pins and picking out something for her shelf. So we'll probably do a video of that for any of you that are interested. It does come with a shelf you can set stuff on. I just dropped it. It comes out if you want to make it long or you can put it back in to make it short. Like make it two. Um, where it wants to put like her stuff that she's gotten that's little in, in there. So that would be cute. Um, so I'll show you, like, I have this little, it just sits in there. This thing's too big, though. <laughs> and then it has a big pocket for pins and stuff. So that will be fun for war. Uh, I really think that's awesome. Um, I also got these little storage containers um, to store, um, like, any activity stuff we're doing while we're um, doing activity stuff in the living room. So like if they're coloring their crayons, they can put their crayons in it. If we're doing paper stuff, they can put their paper pieces in it. If we're doing blocks, they can put their blocks in it. So I've got two pink candle ones for me and Mora, and then one blue one for Mickey. And these are pretty nice. They're pretty wide. Um, inch wise, they are about an inch thick. So they could hold quite a bit I think so let's look at Mickey's so just as an example I'll show you guys I've got some craft junk over here off to the side that you can't see so I will open this and show you what we can fit in here so like this bet you we could put like a punch almost fits in there <laughs> like ribbon fits in there real nice um, like, these would be good for, like, washies. If you've got smaller washies, these are too wide, but, like, little washies, um, ribbons. I've got some, uh, glitzy ribbon I got from Timu. So, you could use these to store stuff. I've seen a lot of people, they store stickers in them, um, or, like, small origami paper, which I actually have some right here that I've been making butterflies out of. So, like, the smaller packs of the origami paper would work in here. Post-it notes. Um, just different types of stationery and stuff, I think. Uh, gems, jimmies would work really good in here, too. So, uh, just whatever your mind can come up with. So, um, this is a good set. I like this set. So, there's that. And then I got this wax seal set because I like that I don't have... A lot of these colors like I don't have the lilac purple I didn't have this color cream or this color or the yellow or this color or this color blue so pretty much like half of this I didn't have so um, I will be doing a wax seal video with the wax seals that I've purchased before I meant to do them before and then I got them all out and made the wax seals for a swap and put them all away so I will have to pick everything out um, this is something I did get for my wax seal stuff to set my um like sealer down so uh this i will do that with this in a in a video here pretty soon so that's what was in this bag and then this last bag has a quite a few stuff um it's all like scrapbooking stationary stuff so bear with me y'all because it's quite a bit so we're gonna have to go a little bit at a time with this and I'll probably have to take it off of here and put it back in the bag as we go so just bear with me <laughs> oh, 
here we go. So first thing, um, here is those brown um, tags I was talking about. It, they're the same thing as that other one, but brown. So, and I got two packs of those. I think they are 100 count, if I remember correctly. So I got two sets. Because I thought that would make nice display cards. And then, okay, let me move some of this out of the way. So we can pull things open and I can kind of display it on here for y'all. So I'm just going to set that over there. This is just um, like double-sided stickies. Like if you... They are really strong, actually. So, double-sided stickies. They're kind of like the nano tape, but in dots. I got some of these because I wanted to test them out. I put these on the back of my wax seal, so um, when people go to attach them to stuff, they can just use the sticky, and they don't have to worry about hot gluing it or melting the wax or anything like that. So, I got another set of these. Um, this one is 10 by 7, so 70. Wow, that, that would make a lot of waxes. Um, so the next thing, um, I got this cute little notepad. I think it's adorable with the little tag in the heart. So I thought that would be really cute um, just to like add little notes and stuff. So that's, to me, that's freaking adorable. And then I got this right here. Let me open this up so I can show y'all. So it's just stuck on there real real smooth like so these are actually stickers they're that like um what do you call that vellum kind of stuff like they're, they're kind of see-through so there's two of each so I think they're like stamps here's a tag it says Canada oh they're like traveling tags. Oh, that's cool because I'm doing a traveling swap, so this will be fun to add into that. So this is like Starfish Line, First Class Travel. Oh yeah, these will be definitely be fun to put into my swap. These right here. There's a France one. Um, like authorization one. This one says Starfish Line, Mediterranean Cruises. That's cool. This one says, bon, bon voyage, bon voyage. Um, so just different types of like little tags. This one's South Pacific line. Sorry, I bumped you guys. Cabini, Cabini, probably saying it wrong. Sydney, first class Sydney. This one, Ka Kaula. Oh, I ain't even, I'm butchering it. I know. Y'all saw it. <laughs> Paris, France. <laughs> I know that one. Um, Pacific Line. Oh, sorry. Pacific Coast, Europe. This one says New York Line. And then this one is Mex, which I think is Mexico. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, it says Mexico on it. <laughs> It's in, it, it was in gold print, so it was hard, kind of hard to see. So, those are cute. Those will be perfect for my travel swap I'm doing soon. So, and it's crazy because I'm doing a vintage pocket letter swap too. So, this stuff will be fun to use. Some of this will be fun to use in that too. And I'm also doing a fairy swap. So, the next thing I'm going to show you will be really cute for that. So... This one's called Literary Girl. It's a bunch of fairies and frames. I did already open this. I was messing with it. So I'll show you guys. We're doing like a little fairy tin swap. And so I put the stickers on the tins. And I just think they're so cute. So <laughs> I thought they were adorable. So I'll show you guys these. Oops, I'm dropping everything. So... Some of these are a little mixed up. Mm -hmm. So pretty. I love these frames. Look how realistic the frames look. Mm -hmm. 
I like these hyper realistic type things. They're really nice. There's this one, and then that one, and then those two. So, some cute stuff. Let me just squish this back in the, its little bag so I don't lose all of these. And then we'll move this off to the side so I can show you guys the next thing. Okay, so this is really cool because um, it looks like a plain book, but then when you open it, it's got like collaging paper, and each side is different, so it's so pretty. I love this paper, like there's a fairy one. Like, look at that. That is just so stunning. I love that. All the purples. I'm usually not a big fan of... Oh, look at those fairies. So this one... This one I picked was like a spring version. So... Oh, and there... Apparently there's... Three sets? Of each paper? I don't know. That was a double set here because look there's the fairies again these are different though okay interesting i like that window that's cool this is pretty it's like a mirror that one says memories so it's like little junk journal pages oh my gosh i've seen this face like a million times Oh, I like that. Look at that. Ooh, these are pretty. Oh, and then they repeat. So there's two of each style. That's really cool. And it says vintage collection, collecting stamp, the flowered morning. So this one's called the flowered morning. So I think those are like for you to collage on. Like, that's so cool though. Okay, so these are just different like little photos of like scenes, which is really cool because I might actually use these in my travel swap. See, I didn't even know I was going to be doing a travel swap. And then I ended up getting a bunch of travel stuff. I'm not going to show you guys all of these because there's so many of them, but I'll show you a few. Here's like a playlist one. This one looks like a photo. Um, not sure about that one. This one says, like, sunrise, come home with me. Tomorrow never comes, time will tell, nice day. See, so, diff just uh, different, like, little paper backgrounds that are all, like, look like photo shots. So, this one got folded in half. So, this one's pretty interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. So, there's that. Um, this one's super cute. Um, so, we've been seeing a lot of, like, kawaii-style stuff where they take stickers like this and they, like, layer them onto um, acrylic pieces and then they make, make them into keychains. So, Aurora wanted to try it. So, of course, when I found sets of these where they were more than just one or two, I scooped them up for her to try that out. So there's like blueberry ones, oranges, and then this one's like lime. So just different stuff. And then it has a time schedule sheet in the back, which I think is cool. So it's like a little journaling. Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. My hand just had a heart attack for a second. <laughs> so I think that would be fun to try out that little kawaii acrylic thing that she was asking about. Uh, now this is really cool. So this is a mixed media journal 
Um, this is a fabric. You can see it like shines. I picked cherry blossoms and then it has tons and tons and tons and tons of paper. So this will be fun to do art in. So I'll be happy with that because I want to start learning how to do certain designs and stuff. Now this is a big set of stuff. I haven't even looked at all of this yet. I did look at some of this stuff already, but this one I definitely have not looked at yet. So let's look at it together. Um, these are all stickers too, so this will be great for my vintage pocket letter stuff. That is cute. Look at these. We've got like a little alcohol bottle or perfume bottle. Ooh, that's it. That's pretty. Some stained papers. That's interesting. Plants. Like phases of the moon. Some music sheets. Some of these are mixed up. This one's like a flower ticket. Oh, it says the Beatles. That's cool. Um, I think, yeah, that way. Ooh, coffee inspiration. Put that in my coffee swamp. This one. I think I already showed you that one. There's a June 5th to 20, 2025, save the date. That's silly. It's in another language. I don't know what it says. These are cute. Oh, uh, here's plant collection. These are just paper. So now we're into just paper ones. It says like good things. This one has a croissant. It says the best coffee in town. Mood coast. Our hearts are intertwined with the waves. Oh, this one's like a little folder. That's cute. Uh, on the wedding day. And then this one, there's a mocha java. And then some more papers. So like this. Looks like a postcard. Um, a ledger. Just a nice decorative piece, another postcard, Miss Marty Bartlett, uh, another postcard, that's some beautiful handwriting, this one's just like random handwriting, more random, more random. And we're back to the beginning. Okay, and then here's the big ones. So this looks like written letters that have been coffee stained. interesting I think I already went through yeah okay so that was everything in that one wow that was quite a bit actually so that was a lot <laughs> that was a lot to go through so I only have one other thing that's like a lot of stuff so because it's a whole kit it's a whole scrapbooking kit so that is pretty cool. I like this. Okay, so here's the other little set of things I got. This one is like events, I think. Like this one's like doctor stuff. This one is another like doctor thing. I think they're all doctor, just in different colors. So this one has cute little bows. It says take care. This one's in green. So those are really cute and then it came with another like one of those little ephemera pieces so that's pretty cool <clears throat> these will be fun 
to test out with the like layering on the acrylic blocks. So that'll be fun. Um, I also got these word phrases. So they come with 203 words each in black and white. So let me show you guys that. So these are like the ones they you see them taking the phrases off in the collage videos. So like some of the phrases are like, I'm happiest when I'm with you. Uh, live simply, give generously, stay strong. No journey is too great if you find what you seek. Um, you can do anything but not everything. Challenge yourself. And then like these are just the same thing but in black. So they come with four sheets each, which is uh, nice. So that is a good set. I'm excited to try those. I will be using them in my vintage pocket letter swap. So that will be fun. Alright, the next thing is these little paper doilies. I'll show you guys these. They're pretty, they're pretty cool. So they came with this like little vellum bow that's on it. I thought that was so cute. And then it had like this little die cut decorative piece. And then these are the actual doilies. They come in three each. So they're really pretty. There's a pink one. Like one that's like a wreath. This one actually has a white doily on it. Different type of white doily. That's a red one. It's just the other one. This one's really pretty. It's like spring. So this one has like an edging. And then the last one is this one. So really, really pretty set. I really like this set. I think it's really nice. These will be nice to kind of layer stuff and everything. If I can get the bow to go back on it. Come on. You could do it. You could do it, bow. There we go. I like that you can like put the bow on it though and it just stays together too. <laughs> like I got little pieces of uh, the die cut falling off right now. So that one was pretty cool. Uh, and this was called Rose Farm. So I also found this little... Um, green set. My favorite color is green, so you'll see a lot of green stuff. Um, this is origami paper, so it's a little thinner than regular paper. Like, look at how cool. So, that was cool. Um, so, I believe there's three, yeah, three of each set of paper. So, you can use these for origami, die cuts, um, layering, just whatever you want, really. So there's bamboo, some little bit darker, uh, like 70s style look. <laughs> That's pretty cute. That one's pretty nice. This one looks like it's got flowers in the corners. This one's like cherry blossoms with the green. Ah, this one's my favorite. It's little bunnies. <laughs> I love this one. And then the flowers. So it's a pretty good set when you get 30 pieces total. So, and they're a decent size. I think they're actually six by six. No, they are five and a half by five and a half. Not too bad though. Very decent size. So I will probably use them as origami pieces because I like trying new origami styles and new origami stuff when I find something that's relatively easy to fold. Um, this is actually made out of origami right here. So I made this out of origami papers. Little thin papers and it hold, look at how much it holds. <laughs> so that was, that was pretty fun. Um, this is just a set of sticky notes so you can, you can see the colors right here. They're like um, orange, yellow, blue, and purple, and then they're just little thin sticky notes. They're three by four, so 
I like having sticky notes, so it works. This is like little paper strips to make paper stars. Um, I've never actually made paper stars, so this is pretty, these are pretty thin. I don't know if they would, they would make very tiny paper stars, so. <laughs> um, but I'd like to try it um, or use these for quilling. Um, I've been picking up quilling supplies, and this was a really good price for the set. It was 260 pieces, so. We'll see. We'll try that out. And then I got one of these. I've had one of these before, and I think I got the other one in blue. So it's cool that this one came in green. So it actually shows you all the styles here. Um, but I'll show you guys. So there's like, just like different things like this. And then there's like just solid color stuff. So just little paper scraps of things so that you can use for different stuff probably end up using it for um, die cuts so or like when I want to add a little bit of pop of color to something okay so now here's the two big things I'll show you this one first this is the washi tape that I got out that I got so this one's pretty cool. It's got like the vintage stuff, flowers and stuff, and then I've got like dragonflies and stamps. And then this one has like butterflies and then more butterflies here and like floral. And this is like written uh, ledger. And then this is floral, more butterflies, some little flowers and some greenery more two more florals this one's like gold leaf then just random patterns with a uh, dark blue floral and then this one it's like writing with stamps newspaper looking um and then the rest are floral and then this one's more of that like little print so some interesting washi tapes there was one thing i wanted to try because i did get this little thing right here um, it's a masking tape cutter, so it's supposed to cut washi tape, but I couldn't figure out how it worked, so maybe I can figure it out now that I have a washi tape. So I think what you do is you open the clip and you put the washi tape like this, and that holds the washi tape in place, and then you go where the washi tape is, and I think it needs to be like this. Yeah, and then... You pull some up, and then I'll show y'all. So you pull some up like this, and you hold it like this, and you pull out how much you want, and then you rip it, and it cuts it evenly. Oh, that's that's actually really cool. So I like this. I need to get some more of these. <laughs> that's really cool. And it's like got a big section, so you can put like thick ones on there too. I think here. I think. This is probably too thick. Well, maybe not. That's the thickest you can do. Is that right there. So, but still, that's really nice. That's the majority of washi tape sizes. So, that's really cool. Well, there you go. I demonstrated one of the products and it worked. <laughs> so, I'll have to get another, another few of those so I can have different washies on it at a time. Okay, now I'm trying to put them all back together. Okay, so we'll just set that over there. That's cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the scrapbooking kit. Let me show you this. Um, I'm not going to pull out every little thing just because this video is getting really long. But um, So here's the washi tape it came with. It's a butterfly um, themed one. So it comes with butterfly stickers and different shapes and stamps it came with this book to collage in like a grid book you can either use the sheets or collage inside it either way it says butterfly on the top it's really cool comes with a pair of tweezers so you can pull the stickers off of stuff some clear uh, bottles some different types of washi tape, so like circles, um, these, 
and then it comes with these like um, strips and then circles which I think is cool and then it's also this one it's like stamps and then it has a couple of die cuts so it looks like two doilies and a butterfly die cut which is cool and then it has this so um, I'm just gonna flip through these really quickly so there's just some different styles of butterflies and stuff in that one and then this one's just a longer strip version so just some like different things it looks like it comes with like five of each so that's cool and then this one ooh that's cute I like that and then like that this one looks like more like postcard style so uh, this one says can't stop loving you <laughs> and the one with handwriting and then this last one has just just different styles of paper so why well, that's pretty cool so a lot of different designs to work with in different sizes which is neat I like the whole butterfly style, that's why I picked the butterfly one. And then this one, these sheets. So, they're just bigger versions. Parchment, or um, ledger, and then like, zoomed in portion of the letter, and then this is just the same thing as that. So, there it is, the entire kit a lot faster than I thought it would be. Yay! So that's everything I got from this $100 um, collaboration. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. I will be doing some videos here soon um, showing off some of this stuff um, and like testing some of it out. So stay tuned for that and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything I got and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!